Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. So welcome back to Unranked to Diamond. This is the series that I take a fresh account, Smurf account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Uh, so this is episode 80, if I'm not mistaken, and right now we are Platinum 1, 80 LP. Um, so this pretty much means, or this game could mean that, you know, promotion series to Diamond, or we're a little bit away from it. So, uh... Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get to promotion series today. That would be lovely. And then, yeah, the series will be coming to an end shortly. Um, I am trying to record as many as I possibly can. I'm trying to cram them in, but obviously a lot of work at the moment this time of year. Um, but anyway, bans are happening. Uh, just to quickly say, the, the enemy team just missed a ban, um, which is interesting. Uh, we have banned Yasso Jackson. One more thing to go. Um, Mundo, there you go. Um, but also below the camera is all the champions that this account currently owns. The ones that are in white, I could play at any random time. The ones that are in yellow, uh, I've been donated in order for me to play. And the ones that are in black are ones for me. You know, play this champion more and I might be able to carry more. Now that sucks that Illoui just got banned. I actually have been playing her quite a bit and I really do enjoy her. I've had games that I've completely stomped my lane opponent and I've got and I've had games on her that I've been stomped. I think it's that kind of champion, which to me is really entertaining. Um... So yeah, right, so I think we've got a Q bot lane that is happening here. Um, I'm not sure where I am. We've got a, he's mid lane, this first pick. Um, the Hellraiser and this guy are bot lane. What does this camp guy want? Um, he just says bat, oh, pref AD carry in jungle. Okay, so... I'll go top, then. I think that works, doesn't it? That he'll get mid. No, he'll get jungle. This guy goes mid. Yeah, okay, I'll go top. Um, Who is good right now top lane? Right, so... I Yeah, it sucks that she got banned, because I wanted to play her, but that's alright. Whatever. Darius is open. I don't really want to blind pick Darius. They have a Ramus, which means that chain ganks could happen. Um, I could go... I can't... Uh, blind picking an Akali is a bit... Awkward. Uh, I might just go Renekton. I haven't played Renekton uh, since the new patch. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just go Renekton. And that should be fine. As for... Um, runes and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, we just picked AD into Ramus. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Just make Ramus not use very useful. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, let's make a rune page. Okay, they've got Kindred. That would be Kindred AD carry if they've got a Ramus already. Uh, right, okay. So, ability power. Douche, douche, douche. I'm in a lazy mood today, and the auto attack one's really good. And... Oh, wait, not that one. That one. All right, cool. If in doubt, be lazy. Uh, oh, God, their team comp is strong. <laughs> they have... Uh, Katarina, I, uh, it depends. Well, our mid laner's a Zed. Hopefully he can do okay. They have a Ramus, who's a pretty strong jungler at the moment, who also can chain gank people, which is really annoying. They have a Town Kench, which would either be support or top. Again, a very strong champion. And a Kindred, a very strong champion. I don't rate her that, that well as AD carry, but um, as a jungler, she's strong. But yeah, she's probably AD carry, so it might not be that bad. Uh, I really do. Okay, people are going to see where this series has changed throughout time. If you've watched this whole series, I obviously have given my opinions about certain champions. One of them is Ezreal. I have said, I definitely know in this series, I have said I do not rate this champion as a good carry. My opinion has changed. You know, the way that masteries have gone, the item builds have gone, he's actually really strong right now and one of the strongest uh, AD carries in the game. Anyway, <clears throat> it seems that they're going a bit of a different route and it might be either Kindred or Vayne top lane. That will be really irritating for me, but that basically means that my jungler has to camp for me, get me far enough ahead that I can one-shot them. Um, so yeah, it might be Kindred top lane or Ramus top lane. Actually, I didn't really think of that. It could be Ramus top lane um, because some, some people do that apparently. Uh, but anyway, our team comp, I like our team comp, but their team comp is also quite strong. They have individual strong champions. So we'll see how this goes. Let's go into the loading screen uh, where I break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screens. So this is where I use the website lolskill.net to break down today's game. So let's get to it. 
Uh, the enemy has a 52.7% chance to win this game, so that's a fairly high percentage in their court. And that is a Diamond 5 Ekaterina, Platinum 1 Ramos, Platinum 2 Tam Kench, Diamond 4 Kindred with a very good win rate, and a Diamond 5 Jinx. My team, Diamond 5 Z, Diamond 5 Blitzcrank, Platinum 1 as myself, Diamond 5 Ezreal, and a Diamond 5 Elise. Is there any other Smurfs potentially in today's game? Uh, no, by the looks of it. Uh, but yeah, the enemy a Kindred, who most likely is going to be top lane, is her stats are really, really strong and her win rate is really, really good. So this might be an incredibly annoying lane for me as a Renekton. Uh, I do think I'll be able to kill her if I manage to get on top of her. If she can kite me, then I'm pretty much screwed. But anyway, let's get into today's game. Okay, welcome to today's game, and I am definitely obviously against the Kindred. I'm already marked. She literally did it the first second in today's game. Uh, gank the Kindred top early. If I snowball, she is screwed. Um, but yeah, if I snowball, she is literally screwed as a Kindred. I'll be able to just jump on her, kill her, and she won't be able to do anything to me. But if the opposite happens, then I'll be completely screwed as well. Um, they know. There's no point. They know 100%. So yeah, this is going to be annoying. I think we've played against a Kindred top uh, in this series before. I can't remember what I played. And I think it was more... It was closer to when she actually got released. So people were playing her anywhere. I do believe she's a better jungler. But I think this Kindred, looking at the loading screen, is probably just spamming Kindred at the moment in any position she gets. But she mainly plays it jungle, from what I can tell. <clears throat> so yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone Doran's Blade, but again, going for an early kill versus a Squishy might be a good idea. But I have to be careful because her early damage will be very, very high. Item build-wise, I do want the Black Cleaver because that gives me an insane amount of damage, but I'm very tempted. Well, I'll probably go the Ninja Tabby very early because that is their team comp. It's got like two AD carries in it. Um, but I'm very tempted actually to go Dead Man's Plate first item, or at least the Chain Vest first item, because it just gives me a lot of tankiness. And Renekton does get quite a bit of damage just from being Renekton. <laughs> Damn, he hooked the wrong one, unfortunately. If he actually managed to hook one of the uh, the jungler or the, the camp, that would have been great. Okay, so I'm going to get auto-attacked a lot in this lane, but I'm going to just kind of roll with it. Um, going for level 2 early probably is also a good idea. But yeah, okay. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, I don't like like cheesy stuff like this. Like it, it's okay for solo queue, I guess. But personally, like I'm a player that just likes playing stuff in its standard position. I know some people call that boring, but it's what I enjoy. Ugh, this is gonna be so irritating. <laughs> Oh, she's even gone for the lifesteal grasp of the undying for even more sustain. No oh, fun. Oh no, yeah, she went W, okay. I definitely need help <laughs> already. I think in a gank with Elise and me, we'll be able to kill her fairly easily pre-6. Um, she has warded here though, so Elise should come through lane. Um... Honestly, like, this Zed shouldn't even ask for a gank. The priority in this game should be top lane. I'm not just saying that because I'm top lane. I'm saying that just because it's the biggest deficit of champion, like, strength in, like... Um... Damn it. Ah, she got the kill as well. See, that's actually quite bad. That I actually died and didn't get the kill. If I got the kill, it wouldn't have been that bad. But it's because Elise got it, then it's actually not that good. Oh, this is going to be hard. Zed should do completely fine in that matchup against the Katarina, but it depends how good he is at Zed. It is a skill matchup, but he should have more sustain. Should as well. He went Doran's Blade. I wouldn't have gone Doran's Blade. Oh, this could be a good gag. Oh, Ramus. And Zed just dumb goofed a little bit there. Alright, oh, she used Ignite. I think Elise just flashed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Zed still has his summoners, so actually that was okay, but mm, it was okay and not okay at the same time. Oh, wow, I missed the cannon. Okay, I'm just going to push this and then... So as soon as you see the W, just run away because the damage will be way too high to fight in it. No way. So much damage, I can't do anything. Uh, I need Ninja Tabby like straight away. The movement speed and the damage reduction. God, I hate cheese lanes. How's bot lane doing? We are kind of relying on bot lane a bit, I think. Uh, because that is like the only lane that I think we can just straight up win. She's level 6 now as well. Okay. This is going to be a game that I'm going to just like, not focus on like kills, which normally I do. I'm just going to have to focus on farm. Adjust the playstyle, as I always say. Alright, we're going to go into boring turtle mode, so I apologise that probably the next 10 minutes or so is not going to be the most entertaining. But it's how we're going to be useful in this game. I didn't get either of them. Uh, okay, the bot lane. I want to just freeze it a little bit. Have it in my territory more. Because, like, if I'm over here, she has a really, like, long way of, like, getting to me. Ramos is bot lane. They're okay. Would have been good if they could hook into tower, but I presume he already used it. So, yeah, I think we're going to go into Dead Man's first item. Which really sucks as Renekton. Nah, that's really bad. Damn that health. <clears throat> because Renekton is known as an early game <clears throat> bully. And obviously, I can't do that versus a Kindred. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing really I can do about it. Alright, she's going into the book. A lot of people, this is where I say a lot of people like to complain in comment sections and everything. There are certain items that always get nerfed. Like, say, Bork is nerfed right now. There are still situations that is, it's amazing in. This situation, a lot of people, I could, like, imagine if it was me playing the Kindred, I build a Bork. I can guarantee there'll be people in the comment section going, why are you building Bork? It's because they don't understand the benefit of still building us, like, that type of item. The benefit of that item in this, like, type of matchup is, one, she's a ranged champion that wants sustain. Secondly, she wants to kite a Renekton. Firstly, she has a lot of, like, jumps around and that as a Kindred anyway, but then it has the effect of the slow with sustain with also killing a tank. Ipso facto, it's still an amazing item on Kindred versus Renekton in this matchup. And this is why I, you know, always say a lot of people are always closed-minded and always are like, no, that's just wrong. A lot of the time when you especially get to Diamond, people always have a thought process of why they're doing certain things. And sometimes that will be wrong, but majority of the time there is a solid thought process there. Alright, so if Kindred roams right now, there's not a lot I can do. Um, I would have loved if uh, Elise has come top a little bit more, but she's only been like once. And that was when I like got killed under tower anyway. Alright, so I'm getting remarked. She has been there. <clears throat> I do love the voice acting of Kindred though, it's a really nicely made champion. Like, a lot of people have asked me the question, what are the differences between League of Legends since when I started playing in Season 1 and, like, now? The quality of the game, like, just, you can just say that as just a flat-out thing. The quality of the game is so much better now than it ever used to be. Like, it's insane, the quality nowadays. I get out of the W. I killed her! If she makes mistakes like that, then I can abuse them because I am a bruiser after all. My job is to kill AD carries. The point is, if she can kite me, then I'm screwed. If she can't kite me, then I can kill her. If I can just get on top of her. And she used flash then as well, so that's actually really good for me. 
this might be the start to me killing her a lot. We'll see. Okay, Ramus. I can't kill a Ramus. Like, even though he's at quite low health, there's no chance. Right, what do I do now? This is interesting. Do I go for the dead man's like I said, or now that I've killed her once, do I go for something else? Because I do need the damage and actually to kill her. Okay, we're going to go a bit aggressive. We're going to change the plan because we have killed her. We have shown that she does bleed. Uh, anyway, bot lane, are they doing okay? You have to remember, this is a duo queue, so in theory, a duo queue should be doing better than anybody else on the map because they have communication, and in fact, they're not. Uh, Ezreal is losing into CS by 10, and also the Tam Kench has obviously earned more gold than the Blitzcrank. Um, so that is not good. Um, so one thing also to mention is that she does have now kite potential on me, and we both don't have flash, but she does have ignite. So I do have to be careful of her potentially like going all in on me, um, but she doesn't actually have ultimate either. Get out of the W. Okay, Elise is coming. This is really good timing. Like, look at this timing. This is so good. Hit the cocoon. Wow, Elise did actually way more damage than I thought. I was going, like, I was purposely trying to time that to get the kill. Oh my god, runs it. Nah, the tremor. But again, okay, I'm fine with Elise getting the kill. Yes, I would have liked if I got it, but whatever. A kill's a kill, and it's a dead Elise, uh, Kindred. Um, so we are, in fact, abusing the Kindred in top lane now, finally. Go, Elise! Mm, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just kept running. So I do have Ignite back up in 50-odd seconds, which means I can go on another kill solo on the Kindred. Because at the moment, I think I only can kill her solo when I have Ignite up. I think I don't have enough burst without it. But anyway, I'm going to go back now. But yeah, this is going good. Cocoon! Uh, she's really low. Ignite. Blitzcrank completely missed his hook. This is actually going well, though. This is... There we go! Nice. The enemy team mucked up. As soon as they started to miss stuff, they should have run away. Good kill. Did Ezra get it? No. I think Elise got it. Yeah. Elise is 3-0, which in theory is okay, but I would like if, like, Ezra gets a kill or something like that. Just to kind of spread who can carry the game. Um, but when she gets Bork, this might this matchup might turn a bit more difficult. As of right now, I think it's okay. Uh, she's going to go for that Mark thing. I might go and stop that in a second. Yeah, I'm going to go down because she's... Oh, she's not. Oh, okay. That's surprising. Okay, I've got Ignite up. Alright, get out of that. Okay, if she's going to come all in. <clears throat> Maybe it's not grass. Maybe it's whatever that heal effect she has. God, that sustain is insane. That rhymed. I have to basically all in on her. Otherwise, she's just going to sustain too much, which is really, really annoying. We we'll go back anyway. Bot lane is dying the tower, which isn't great at this time of the game. Uh, but Ramus did go down with his tremor as well. Oh, cocoon! That was a really bad cocoon. And she's gone for like the ultimate squishy build, which is not really good. I well, I don't think it's good because you just die straight away pretty much all the time, uh, as shown then. Like if you engage in this Elise and you, they get caught out, then yeah, you can kill them very quick. If you get caught as in a squishy Elise, you're dead. Like there's nothing you can do. Anyway, we both we have both summoners now, so I have a potential chance of killing her more. Oh my god, my Q! That was so close. That was like a millisecond off me landing that Q and that would have been dead. This is what I mean. She can just jump around and I can't get damage on her. God damn it, that was so close. How much minion damage did I take? Uh, not much. That hook. Damn, that's frustrating. But this is the type of matchup this is. It's either I'll kill her or she'll kill me. And I know my plan was to kind of just farm and all that. But when I killed her once, I was like, hang on. I can potentially kill her here. But, yeah. 
it would be again like Elise has come twice, and this is what I said right at the beginning of the episode. That top lane is a lane that we could have completely snowballed, and having a Fedor and Ecton versus their team comp is pretty much GG. She's been twice, and I think she took both of the kills when she came, so it's like it hasn't helped that much. But again, this is only what like low diamond or something, so people don't think about stuff as much. Wait, aren't these duo Q? Like, why are you typing if you're duo Q? One, like, word of, like, thingy. There is no point duo queuing if you're not on, like, communication. Because that's the whole advantage that you get with duo queuing. Is communication. Your MMR and everything goes up when you duo queue because they think that you have communication. So if you don't, that's just really silly. Either gank mid or top. Like, mid lane is really vulnerable at the moment because she doesn't have Zonyas yet. Top lane is always vulnerable, but she doesn't really come a lot. Um, so, yeah. She's level 11 now, too. Ezreal will eventually get strong with the current build of Ezreal if he's going, he's going the wrong build. Oh, my God. He hasn't gone the right build. Essence, uh, Essence Reaver, I think, is the right item. It's insanely OP on Ezreal right now, and he's gone the tier build, which is actually his weakest build. Oh my god, do a bit of research and things will be a lot better. Nice. Damn it. She could have repelled for that, actually. She should actually just, like, come back straight away. You don't see a lot of chain ganking happening, actually. Chain ganking is, like, amazingly effective, but... I don't know why people don't do it anymore. Okay, here we go. Do it before she could ult. Again, at least got the kill, but yeah, it kills a kill, I guess. And Ramus is Ramus is always top lane when I'm trying to go for the tower. Ugh, it's annoying. And meet the Zed. If you can't have a, just a conversation without insulting people, then I do pity you. Ugh. Oh wow! I okay. How long in the co in the conversation? How long did I have two pairs of boots? Thanks. I'd love to know. That's bad. Yeah, that sucks. How? That's not good. I don't think I've seen the Blitz Crank land one hook this whole game either. Which is the whole point of Blitz Crank. If you don't land a hook, then you should never play Blitzcrank. Okay, I got it. Phew! I was like, no way. The, thing, the sucky thing is, because Ezra has done this build, he has no damage right now. Um, which, if he had Essence Reaver, he'd be doing crazy amounts. Which is really annoying. Essence Reaver is really strong on champions like Ezra or Graves. Like the CDRAD champions. I like, don't underestimate it. Okay, she has her Bork now. And she's also probably going to go... Oh, what's she going to go? Rapid Fire, maybe? I don't know. Okay, there's no point this Blitzcrank talking to her. Like, this Blitzcrank has played terribly as well, so. Oh, that could be a nice kill. Go, Elise. Kapoom. At least, at least. Ah, Israel. <laughs> you try to over predict where Ramus would be. Ah, oh, damn. Ramus actually got the blue. That means he got more XP. Right, this game's not going terribly. I think our late game might be okay. Um, as long as people don't get caught by, like, the Ramus taunt. Um, because, like, they have two AD carries, and 
you know, I think... Okay, I'm just going to mute this person as well because it's just talking like that is just pointless. Um, having 280 carries makes them really squishy. And if we can just kill them really quickly, then it should be fairly easy. Okay. I need my Black Cleaver though. I have gone for the Black Cleaver first item build, which is risky, but... I don't know, we're holding on. I'm only a little bit behind in CS like versus a ranged lane, so it's actually not that bad. But you'll notice one thing, pretty much like 75% of the time that this Elise has come top lane, we've killed her. Come top lane more. Like as a jungler, look at what lanes you're getting kills in and just return to that lane until that lane is completely like wrecked them. Um, it's just, you know, identifying, hey, where am I actually doing work? Anyway, we'll put, throw a ward over there. We'll say missing and we'll go back out our black cleaver because that's a pretty big item. Um, also, Katarina buying Zonyas. Yes, surviving the Zed is very important, but you're not going to out damage a Zed with Zonyas because, like, you're Zonyas while you're trying to spin around in a circle. So I don't know. I don't know if that's the correct thing to do. I'm not a massive Katarina player, never have been, but just as my own, like, knowledge, I'm like, hmm, that's probably not a great idea. Uh, because you have to remember, even though Zonya's saves your life, it also stops you doing damage. Killed it. Kill them all! That time Kench ulted into the wrong place. Damn, at least got another kill. As long as I get like a kill or an assist per death, I'm actually not that fussed. Uh, that'll do for me, actually. I really want this Ezreal to build Essence Reaver. Like, look at it. Hang on. Where, where is Essence Reaver? Here it is. Like, good AD, good amount of crit, cooldown reduction, gain up to 20% cooldown reduction equal to your critical strikes from other sources, and then crit restores 3% of the maximum mana. It is a crit meta right now. That crit is a big reason why AD carries are doing so much damage. It's like a perfect item for Ezreal. All right, we have Home Guard now because it's after 20 minutes, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this Kindred, I would say, like, even though she's played, God, over 100 games of Kindred and her win rate and everything is amazing, she's not very good at ulting. Um, she could have ulted herself then and not died, but just didn't do it. Like, she doesn't do it quick enough. And that's actually happened a couple of times. But we're just going to be trying to be a monster in team fights as a Renekt in this game. Um, we're not the, the strongest solo killer here. Mm -hmm. Can you get a hook? Oh, Jinx. Go on, Blitz, I believe. You should have just thrown the hook out. It might have actually been in range. I'm trying to keep Katarina out of the fight. Uh, okay, Kindred no flash or anything. That was bad. Diving under tower at this time of the game is not a very good thing. Yeah, damn. Oh, did she actually she went rapid fire? Yeah. Hmm. Not good. Adult now. Like that was weird. A good kill. Hey, he landed a hook. We just need an open team fight that doesn't involve a tower. <laughs> and then we might be okay. Dragon is up too. Maybe we can stop it. Elise has gone full uh, AP damage Elise. Which I don't know. I don't know if that was a smart thing to do. Anyway, we, we really should go here. Like, go, go, go. Like, stop farming here. Go here. They're really low. No, you shouldn't stop. Go, go, go. Damn it, if people didn't stop, we would have got that dragon. But people randomly just want to farm. It's like, why? Hmm. 
We could do Baron. But Irizu doesn't do a lot of damage to a Baron. He is 204, so his score is actually pretty good. Damn, they do a vision of it. Can we do it? There will be a Katarina spinning around. Oh, Alright, let's just go for it. What the hell? Let's throw a ward over there. I think we've got this. Yeah, good call whoever did actually call it originally. Nice. Yeah, good, good grab. Well done. That'll do. Awesome. That gets us, uh, I wouldn't say a lead, but that gets us a nice, like, stable ground for a few minutes at least. I don't know how effective we're going to use this Baron, honestly. Um, because we have two, like, top lane is always pushing into into our territory and bot lane. To effectively use Baron, we need to get it into their territory. So I'll push this wave and then go back and buy and then look to group. Okay, I've been marked. That means Kindred is coming to kill me. So, like, Kindred, the one thing with Kindred is she's a... It's very easy to read her. It's like, at this top point in the game, why on earth would you be marking a Renekton who is pretty tanky instead of someone else who is squishy? The only reason would be is that you're top lane trying to kill him. Very easy to read. Right, we should look to group and go for, like, mid tower at least or something. We haven't got tier 1 mid. Or top. Or bot. Wow, we don't have a single tower this whole game. That is not good. Okay, look for a hook. They're pushing bot lane and top lane. God. They're, they're doing it clever. Like, okay, Zed is in mid lane for some reason when we should be looking to fight them in our own jungle. Ezra should be able to hold them off fairly easily. But they're doing it clever. The enemy team is playing it well in the fact that they're stopping us using the Baron. That we're not being able to just go mid lane and steamroll because they're keeping lanes pushed. It's clever. I do have Deadmans as well next time I go back. This Ramus is really tanky. I disagree with his build. Like, I don't think Warmogs is a good item, especially when we're all AD. Just continue to build armor. Um, would be way more effective than having a Warmogs. God damn it, everybody's basing. Like, we're not using the Baron at all. It was great in getting, but now pointless in having. That's not good. Hide behind the minions. Alright, we need a fight. Like, that's all we need to do. I, I could go back and buy right now, but I really want to fight. Look for a hook or something. Alright, just kill this thing. Kill the armadillo. So we have a lease for our AP damage, which is more than enough. Ow. Um, again, we should just keep looking. Like, again, you have to remember they are really squishy. Hook, hook, hook. That's in range. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ezra's not here, apparently. They're so low. Um, nice. Auto, 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 auto. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Getting caught a bit like that wasn't great. They have nothing to... Oh, wow, they're going for towers. Okay. I don't think they're going to do anything there, to be honest. Well, they're actually... Okay, they're going to get one. Or not. That will regen very slowly. Will we have anybody up in time? We have Blitzcrack. Yeah, I don't think they can get it. Okay, that's okay. But yeah, losing team fights like that at this stage of the game is not great. Also, the inhibitor's up. We should be able to stop that also. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, he's got Essence Reaper now at least. He'll do some damage. Because that was a pretty good situation. Just I think we played it way too messy. Alright, we get tier, two, tier 1 top lane. Hi, Ramos. The only person that can really kill this ram as easily is the Elise. Um, who's fed? So Elise is strong, Zed's okay, Ezra is okay. I'm the weak one, but that was kind of obvious. Just gonna continue building tank. I'm probably gonna go a 
Um, well, maybe not a Sterix. Maybe I should go with a Thorn Mail. Maybe that'll be more useful. Could go for that, but... Oh, why would... Okay. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to change to a Thorn Mail. Just have the Ruby Crystal for something later. I think it would just be more effective. Katarina, I don't think, has gone for me once in this game, so she's not really a threat to me. Um, she's prioritising other people, and Kindred and Jinx are pretty damn strong. We really should, like... Damn. I hate Tam Kent. Good grab. This is good. Grammas is still bot lane. We didn't to make full use of that fight then. We could have gone way more in because Ramus was bot. But people were spam pinging back for some reason. I'll go regen. Be interesting if Ramus decides to split push for the remainder of the game. <laughs> this is what I mean in solo queue. People just randomly decide to split push for no good reason. Oh, he's tremoring split push. <laughs> Like, why? Uh. Hook. What? That hit him. Wow. Kill the armadillo. Flash. That hook. God damn it. <sighs> Lovely spam pinging for no reason. <laughs> Baron's up in ten. Go back. But yeah, like that when. Ramus wasn't even there. We should have gone completely all in, but we didn't for whatever reason. Which is quite irritating. They can do Baron super quick with their team comp as well. Two AD carries. Okay, but if they do Baron, I think we can kill them. Maybe. Depends. If we uh, are grouped, which we never really has five people, unfortunately. They could be doing it, like, right now. We need Ezra with us. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm dead. Never grouped. Nice. Okay, one kill, two kills. This is good. Go on Elise. Damn. Go to Tam Kench. Or just spam us. Hey, we win the team fight. Alright, that was a really messy team fight, but that was actually not bad. Do they use everything on me? Kindred used Ignite on me again. I don't know why they keep igniting and using stuff on me. I am practically a distraction in this game. I am not important. Well, I'm important in the sense that I want people to use stuff on me. And that is my role in this game. And they're kind of playing into it, I presume. Well, not really presume. They are. So that's good. And uh, if we can get an inhib, that would be amazing. Uh, and one hook as well can change this game. One hook on like the Kindred or something like that is a death for them. Uh, but this should be an inhib. We need to hook her though. She is like a very important person to get. That was a bit stupid. Um, anyway, I'm going to sell this. Normally it's a terrible idea to sell like an item when you're probably going to buy it again, but I really want the thornail right now. Um, okay, they are very much looking for something here. I'm on my way. Like we... Oh, that, that would actually have been really bad if that landed. Oh, we gotta be careful of Baron. Oh god. What can I do as a Renekton? Hey, I made it in. I got the Baron. 
Oh well, yeah, there's nothing a lot I really could do. Repel? No? Okay. Damn! That was really good for them. They, they did the Baron at a really good time when everybody had to go back. We did get the Inhib though, but it's going to be an Inhib for an Inhib most likely. How can you not to hit her? It is an Ezreal. Not a Tristan or Vane. Um, anyway, what killed me? What was the damage? So, AD. Build more armor. <laughs> well, I'm at, uh, do I build... Uh, actually, I guess I go this. Randuin got hit, like, a lot. It got nerfed to crazy amounts. It got nerfed its health. It got nerfed the amount of armor. But the one thing it's okay with is crits. Uh, so it's not that bad. Well, it, it is bad compared to other things, but it, it's a situational item. Sometimes it's pretty good to have. Like now, really. Uh, we really do need the next dragon because we actually don't have one dragon. The Elise has done well, but we have had no actual map jungle pressure on camps or, you know, stuff like that. We got one Baron. I'm getting marked again. I don't understand why I'm getting marked. Again, this game, I'm literally a distraction. Like... I don't know. Weird. Maybe they know I'm a distraction. They're like, oh, he's always going to dive in to be a distraction. Therefore, we can always kill him. Maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just stopping Ramus get to my Ezreal. This is bad. This is game, probably. Yeah, that's game. We should have been nowhere near them, but we were. Oh well, they were stronger throughout the whole game. I couldn't get a lead at all. I was just rubbish this game. Oh well. It is a problem that I know I have. When I'm not playing versus a standard lane, I tend to play quite badly. But whatever. We should have abused top lane a little bit too much or so, but it's okay. Win some, lose some. So that means we've got to win another two to get into promotion series. God, this is really annoying. Anyway, let's go at the breakdown. I can kind of presume. I, I bet I'm going to get like a C or a B. I'll probably be like the lowest damage apart from Blitz. Maybe he'll even have more than me. I don't know. But we'll have a look. So we lost 21 LP. We went 3, 10, 9. Terrible score. But I just got completely abused this game. C minus. Yeah, ter absolutely terrible. And damage done. I actually did more than I actually thought I would. But still awful. But oh well, um, that is going to be it for today's episode. Really disappointing. But as I said to you guys, I upload every single episode. And even if it makes me look terrible, I'm still going to upload it. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Please like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. See you.